Uganda will have to dig deeper into its coffers to purchase a modern fleet of warplanes from Moscow worth 655 billion shillings. However, if Uganda goes ahead to purchase these planes, the cost could dwarf this financial year's 540 billion shillings defense budget vote, including a supplementary. According to the World Factbook statistics published by the American intelligence body, the CIA, out of 198 countries sampled, Uganda ranks 100th on military expenditure. It is estimated that Uganda spends about 2.2% of its GDP on the army. However, its neighbors like Sudan, Rwanda and Kenya are ranked above Uganda at 51, 53rd and 55th respectively in military expenditure. The alleged purchase of six Su-30 flanker jet fighters was first reported in the Russian business daily Vedomoti that Uganda had inked a deal worth 655 billion shillings to purchase jet fighters in exchange for its oil wealth. But the issue has since grown into a diplomatic tiff between the Kampala regime and Moscow after Uganda demanded an apology. The story had appeared yet again in a government-controlled radio. Army spokesman Lieutenant Colonel Felix Kuleje told NTV that the plan to buy jet fighters fell flat on its head because of a limited resource envelope. Nevertheless, he says Uganda plans to buy the planes in the near future to protect its fragile skies. Until the lamp can lie comfortable in lion's den, we still need to defend ourselves. And we shall do so with stones and arrows. It has to do with modern equipment befitting a modern army. Critics of this plan purchase claim health, roads and agriculture should be government's priority rather than stockpiling weapons of warfare. Is there a threat to Uganda that necessitates the purchase of these kinds of weapons? Maybe there is, and even there the army would have to tell you. But again, I personally think that the, 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 most, the more likely conflict that we could have in this country would be a civil war. Are fixed wing jets the best weapon to deploy against insurgents? I don't think so. Other political pundits fear that the purchase will stoke fears of flaring regional tension, ringing alarm bells of an arms race. I would think that the countries that have had poor relations with the Uganda government will probably seek to arm themselves in a similar way. Uh, because who knows, maybe they will think, ah, oh, maybe these guys are planning to attack us next time. Now, that will definitely then spark off uh, an arms race in the region. However, Lieutenant Colonel Kuleje says it would be naive for Uganda not to guard its territorial boundaries now home to new oil fields. Do you want to see an enemy's j j uh, fighter planes in our sky? Then we go by him. It would be the stupidest government ever. Imam Taiziwa, NTV Tonight.